Florida, long seen as a sun-soaked paradise, now finds itself on the front lines of climate change. The very waters that made Florida famous are now threatening its future. Flooded streets in Miami and ever stronger hurricanes are daily reminders that the climate crisis is here. Rising seas are pushing salt water into drinking supplies, while the economy, built on tourism and agriculture, faces mounting strain. Rapid population growth puts more people and property in harm's way, amplifying the risks. Florida's struggle is a preview for other coastal regions, a real-time test of resilience and adaptation. The state's defining features, its coasts, climate, and vibrant life, are at risk. The dream of paradise now depends on facing the rising water and building a resilient future. Florida's greatest threat isn't a sudden disaster, but the slow, relentless rise of the ocean, a force that creeps forward year after year almost imperceptibly, yet with consequences that are impossible to ignore. The state's iconic beaches and vibrant coastal cities are on the front lines of this transformation, facing a future that is being rewritten by the tides. Since 1940, sea levels have risen 6 to 8 inches along Florida's coastlines. That may sound small, but it's enough to cause sunny day flooding, when streets flood even without a cloud in the sky. In places like Miami Beach and the Keys, residents now see water bubbling up through storm drains and pooling on roads during high tides disrupting daily life and damaging property. Higher seas mean that when storms do hit, their surges start from a higher baseline, making them more destructive. Sea walls and levees that once held back the water are now more easily overtopped and floodwaters are pushed deeper inland, threatening neighborhoods that never used to worry about flooding. Florida's barrier islands, which act as natural buffers, are eroding at an alarming rate. As the shoreline recedes, the very geography of the state is being redrawn. Beaches shrink, dunes collapse and the land that once protected communities is slowly disappearing into the sea. Beneath the surface, Florida's porous limestone bedrock creates another challenge. Water doesn't just come from above, it seeps up from below, rising through the ground itself. This makes traditional flood control methods, like pumps and barriers, both expensive and less effective, as water finds new ways to infiltrate homes and businesses. Entire neighborhoods can be inundated from beneath, with floodwaters rising silently through lawns and streets, threatening homes, utilities, and the very infrastructure that keeps communities running. For many Floridians, this is not just a future threat, it's a present reality. For millions of people, the rising sea is a daily concern. It affects property values, insurance rates, commutes, and even the sense of security in their own homes. Some families are forced to move while others stay and adapt, hoping for solutions that can keep pace with the water. In response, cities are investing in costly public works, raising roads, installing massive pumps and building elevated sidewalks. But these are only temporary fixes, buying time as the sea continues its steady advance. The rising sea is a persistent, unstoppable force, reshaping Florida's landscape, economy and way of life. As the water creeps ever higher, the state faces a future where adaptation is not just an option, but a necessity for survival. Along Florida's iconic coastline, a silent threat is creeping beneath the surface. As sea levels rise, saltwater is slowly seeping into the state's underground aquifers, vast hidden reservoirs that have supplied fresh water to generations of Floridians. These aquifers are the lifeblood of the state, providing drinking water for more than 90% of its residents. But now, the invisible boundary between fresh and saltwater is shifting, putting the very foundation of Florida's water supply at risk. Every time a Floridian turns on the tap, they're drawing from these ancient underground stores. For most, the water tastes clean and pure. But in some communities, a faint salty tang is the first warning sign that the ocean is invading the tap. As salt water pushes farther inland, wells that once drew only fresh water now risk contamination. The delicate balance between fresh and salt water is being upset, and the consequences are already being felt. Some communities have been forced to abandon their shallow wells altogether, drilling deeper and farther inland in search of uncontaminated water. This process is not only technically challenging, but also comes at a steep financial cost, one that many small towns struggle to afford. The impact doesn't stop at the kitchen sink. Florida's vast agricultural industry, which depends on these aquifers for irrigation, is facing a new kind of threat. As irrigation water grows saltier, crops suffer. Fields that once yielded abundant harvests now show signs of stress, 
wilting leaves, stunted growth, and salty residue on the soil. In places like Homestead, farmers are already fighting to protect their livelihoods. They're experimenting with salt-tolerant crops, investing in new irrigation systems, and watching the weather and water tables with growing anxiety. For many, the future feels uncertain. Meanwhile, Florida's population continues to surge. Over 350,000 new residents arrive each year, drawn by the promise of sunshine and opportunity. But every new home, every new lawn, and every new business adds to the demand for fresh water, just as the supply is shrinking. This collision between rapid growth and dwindling resources is creating a crisis that's both immediate and long-term. Urban sprawl pushes development closer to vulnerable aquifers, while climate change accelerates the pace of saltwater intrusion. To keep up, water utilities are turning to advanced treatment technologies, systems that can remove salt and other contaminants from drinking water. But these solutions are expensive, and the costs are passed on to consumers in the form of higher water bills. Behind the scenes, utility workers and engineers are waging a constant battle to keep salt out of the tap. Their work is often invisible, but it's absolutely critical to Florida's survival in the face of a changing climate. The future of the state depends on protecting its most vital resource, fresh, clean water. As the ocean creeps ever closer, the choices made today will determine whether Florida's taps run clear for generations to come. Hurricanes are nothing new in Florida. For generations, residents have braced for the annual storm season, boarding up windows and preparing for the worst. But now, climate change is rewriting the rules, making these storms not only more frequent, but also far stronger and more destructive than ever before. The warming of our oceans, especially in the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic, acts like fuel for hurricanes. As sea surface temperatures rise, storms can rapidly intensify, sometimes growing from a tropical storm to a major hurricane in just a day. This means more Category 3, 4, and even Category 5 storms, packing winds and rain that can devastate entire communities. In 2024, the state was hit by back-to-back -back disasters. Hurricane Helene tore through the Big Bend region, flattening towns and leaving thousands homeless. Just weeks later, Hurricane Milton struck southern Florida, compounding the devastation. Together, these storms caused over $100 billion in damage and claimed hundreds of lives, leaving scars that will last for years. These hurricanes don't just bring destructive winds, they unleash record-breaking rainfall, overwhelming rivers and drainage systems, and causing catastrophic flooding. Streets become rivers, neighborhoods are submerged, and entire towns can be cut off from help for days. Florida has now suffered more billion-dollar disasters than any other state in the nation. Each year, the costs keep mounting, straining insurance companies, local governments and families trying to rebuild their lives. Every storm is a massive blow to the economy, destroying not just homes but also businesses, schools and critical infrastructure like roads and bridges. The ripple effects are felt for months, even years, as communities struggle to recover. The cycle of destruction and rebuilding is becoming unsustainable. With each new storm, the challenge of recovery grows, and the resources needed to rebuild are stretched thinner and thinner. Emergency responders and volunteers work tirelessly, but the scale of the disasters is testing the limits of Florida's resilience. Communities are coming together, but the sense of uncertainty is growing. As Florida faces this new era of relentless hurricanes, the stakes have never been higher. The future depends on how we adapt, prepare and come together in the face of unprecedented challenges. The climate crisis is straining Florida's economy, especially the insurance market. Home insurance premiums have soared by 43 percent since 2018, making home ownership unaffordable for many. Some insurers have left the state, leaving residents with fewer, pricier options. Tourism and agriculture, Florida's economic pillars, are both at risk from rising seas, stronger storms, and saltwater intrusion. Eroding beaches and dying coral reefs threaten tourism, while extreme weather devastates crops. The ripple effects touch everything from food prices to jobs. Florida's prosperity is being steadily undermined by climate change. Florida's ecosystems are under siege from climate change. The Everglades and other wetlands, once natural buffers, are threatened by saltwater intrusion and rapid development. Nearly a million acres of natural land could be lost to development or sea level rise by 2040. Iconic species like the Florida panther, sea turtles, and key deer are losing habitat. Coral reefs are bleaching, turning into graveyards for marine life. 
As natural defenses vanish, the state becomes more vulnerable to storms and flooding. Healthy ecosystems provide vital services. Once lost, they're hard to replace. The environmental toll is a deep wound on Florida's future. Climate change in Florida is a growing public health emergency. Extreme heat is now the deadliest weather threat, causing heat stroke and worsening chronic illnesses. Mosquito-borne diseases like malaria and dengue are re-emerging as warmer, wetter conditions expand their range. Poor air quality and mental health stress from constant climate threats are rising. The 2024 Florida Climate Conference called for urgent action on these health impacts. Medical experts urge integrating climate change into healthcare training and public health planning. Real-time monitoring and better disease control are essential. The health risks are complex and interconnected. In Florida, the climate crisis is as much about people as it is about the environment. Despite escalating risks, Florida remains one of the fastest growing states. Booming construction puts more people and property in harm's way. New buildings are more resilient, but higher elevation development can worsen flooding in older, lower-lying neighborhoods. Much of Florida's infrastructure, roads, bridges, power grids wasn't built for today's climate realities. Upgrading it will cost billions. The state faces tough questions. Should building be restricted in high-risk areas? How can older communities be protected? Smarter, more sustainable urban planning is urgently needed. Florida's future depends on building wisely, not just building more. Across Florida, communities are shifting from denial to action. Cities like Miami Beach are investing in pumps, raised roads and sea walls to fight flooding. Updated building codes and zoning laws aim to keep new development out of the most vulnerable areas. Restoring mangroves, coral reefs, and wetlands is proving as vital as concrete defenses. Urban planning now emphasizes green spaces and stormwater management, but adaptation alone isn't enough. Global emissions must be cut to address the root cause. Florida's struggle is a call to action for the world. The path forward is innovation, investment, and tough choices. Floridians are learning to live with water, fighting to preserve their home for generations to come.